anything, huh? What's up, Has Family? It's your two favorite brothers, and we back with another video. As always, it's gonna be a banger. I'm sorry. It was a reflex. I can't help it. Like, I like. No. Now, if I hit you, I'm gonna go to jail for what? beating a child. Really? Do it. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you hit me, hold on. Hold. Can I ask a question? What's the question? Before you hit me. Because right. you going to hit me out of the way. Can I ask a question? Can, can I ask a if question? If you're stupid, I'm going to hit you. Can I ask a question go before ahead. you hit me? Go ahead. Can you put your hand down? Question. Do you really think, you know, we give NBA Live a chance? Oof. See, look. See, that's not even a stupid question. You okay, okay. Hit no. Shout out to Swante. Swante said something important the other day. Biggest thing about 2K17 that made it blossom so much and the reason why exposing videos and all that other stuff blew up so well was because of what? Was because of dribbling. I always think about what if NBA Live had superior dribbling too? Well, do we say more arcade -ish dribbles? You have no. to say that because 2K's dribbling is super arcade. -ish. There's Good. nothing you realistic know. about 2K's dribbling. If you can chain moves together in 2K that technically aren't, you know, supposed to be chained, and even some dribble packages have the ball morphing through your leather as NBA Live to do certain moves, to do pretty much any move, it literally. You have to trigger it yourself. It's not a canned animation. Let me say this. What if NBA Live had momentum behind the back? What if they had their own version of it? But it wasn't able to be abused like how it is in 2K. Right. What would it take for NBA Live dribble system to make people actually want to play? Dribbling is the flashy thing of all basketball games. What is the flashiest thing you can do in basketball? Take ankles. Ankle breaker. Okay, some of y'all, I see him. You see how you're looking at me talking about smacking his lip. Let's do it this way. What about NBA Street Volume 2? What makes NBA Street Volume 2 so great? It's the dribbling aspect of the game. Being able to take ankles, right. throw off the heezy, uh -huh. and the way that the game feels, but most of the part, the flashiness of the game, is the dribbling. Now, there is the dunking, and, and that's, that's the more like, <gasps> Parts. But when you take a person's ankle and you keep crossing them, that's the flashy part. That's what makes somebody says, Yo, this dude is on another level. Like, he just knows how to take ankles. He knows how to dribble. Every game needs dribbling. Why is Bone Collector one of the most electrifying players, even though he's never touched the NBA? Dribbling. The fact that he can take ankles. Ankles is amazing. Whenever whenever you look at a, 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 a hoop mixtape and you see them taking ankles the whole time, mm -hmm. the ankles is what, those videos always do mad views. Now, what if NBA Live had a new and improved ankle, like, well, not ankle system, new and improved dribble system. Or dribble engine. But what would that be, though? Because, okay, when you look at NBA Live's dribbling, it looks kind of what we're calling stiff, right? Everybody calls it stiff. Stiff, okay. clunky, slow unorthodox. And it's all because it's trying to be real, right? Right. Okay, so NBA 2K has has long gone left realism dribbling. True. What type of dribble system could NBA Life implement that would bring a arcade mm -hmm. but competitive style of dribbling? What, what, what would that look like? Something that would definitely involve you using stamina that would be realistic to where you cannot abuse dribbles, but you can do a little something something if you got a good around, a good amount of stamina, right? Right. Then you need maybe somebody from street basketball to mocap? Right, but what I'm saying is, okay, we, we play NBA Street Fighter 2 a lot. When I look at some of those moves and I see like some of the snaps backs and I see some of the, 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 the fancy moves, and I'm like, man, these moves are amazing. What would that be like in NBA Live? But then I would say that these moves would end up being too OP. Cause you know NBA Street Fighter 2 that you fall, if you time it, if you get them in the right angle, you can make them fall every single time. Mm -hmm. So with NBA Live, how could you bring NBA Street Fighter 2 and Fighter 3's dribble moves over to, because NBA Street Home Court, see that dribbling was just a little like, you just, it, it just felt like you just was flicking the triggers like this. It didn't feel right. It, it, it didn't feel good. So that's why the game didn't do as great as it should have. But NBA Street Fighter 2 and Fighter 3 did amazing. So. Mm -hmm. How does NBA Live bring that type of dribbling over to its game to make people really want to play their online? Because this realistic dribbling that they do, it's it's not that it's 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 bad. It's just ugly. Not to mention, right? In NBA Live, you weren't really penalized for just square matching either. No, yeah, you can you can you can square match with anybody. Any build can square match. So okay, let me let me ask you a question. Right. Okay. What dribbling? 
would you want for NBA Live? We're gonna try to have something arcadish, but simulation at the same time. We're gonna have to scrap the whole NBA Live dribble engine and start from the ground up. I would have to say, depending on what position you are, you get more dribble moves or more of an ability to do more electrifying dribbles than others. But what would you define it as electrifying dribble? Like what makes you go, this is electrifying without it being OP and unstoppable? You see what I'm, you see what I'm saying? That's a tough question. That's like, why I feel like NBA. I feel like NBA Live. NBA Live's in a hard spot right, right now. Right, because how do you bring? Okay, how do you bring? We watch Bone Collector. Right. How do you bring his dribble style into NBA Live to make NBA Live seem more? Because what he does when he's running back and he's snatching back like this, and the kid goes running and then he comes back and he does it again. If they put that in NBA Live, it would be fire because it's like, yo, you can really like. Snatch up, but then people be like, Bro, I'm stuck in this long animation and I can't break the animation to play defense. This game is sluggish. Because it's NBA Live, so it's like, whatever you, whatever NBA Live comes out with, we're going to say sluggish. So how do they come out with a fire dribble system? Okay, remember in the NBA Live trailer how they had the animation where he threw the ball between his legs? Right. Now, we all know Bone Collector, that's one of his go-to moves where he throws the ball between your legs and if you go for it, he's put, he pushes off. He puts off. He pushes off, okay. but he snatches you. Right. So, they have the counter system where if you do the through the leg, it, it's not going to be overly abused, so you can't counter it. But, I can also add that if you do get caught slipping and you push the wrong button, you can get snatched and fall. But don't you, but but isn't that the problem with NBA Live games? NBA Live always has like these, these like weird gimmicks. They always have these weird gimmicks. In NBA Live 18, essentially if you did, if you were running, you do the dribble, 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 all you have to do was do pull down the stick, do a oh, snap, yeah. and then have a step back, and then do the inner fall and for nothing, for just no apparent reason. NBA Live always has a gimmick. With NBA 2K, it's more of a free, a free decision. It's more of a free thing. So if somebody is over dribbling, you can literally just stay in front of them and keep playing defense. Right. And then sometimes you might get your ankles taken. It might be a little animation, but you recover right back real fast. But with NBA Live, you get hit with an ankle. Your player is stuck in slow motion, and you have to watch him score right in your face. Like if you get hit with that step back, you're you you're might done. put the whole controller down. So how? That's what I'm saying. Like if we do, if they did add bump, like this, this is why I feel NBA Live will never. They, it, it just feels like they will never reach that that old school status where they was at on PS2. I'm not lying, man. Like, like you might have to steal something. You know yeah, what I'm you might have to steal for 2K. I, I ain't gonna hold. Hey, you. look, hey, look. I'm, I, just, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, you know, hey, you better steal the momentum behind the back. Shoot, that's it. Like, you might as well. You some, might as well because some, essentially please? the mo that's all you got. The momentum dribble is what everybody does in 2K. You might as well, they steal from y'all, so you might as well steal it too. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Like, that's that's the only thing people care about in 2K. I need an 86 ball control just so I can momentum. Because all of that, like that, that stationary dribbling like this, it's just, it's not, it look good realistically. To real basketball players that appreciate the right. game, it looks amazing. Okay, I got a perfect analogy. And Ima me. Imagine being in, what did I tell you about, po stop poking me. Imagine being in, in high school and the janitor Goes to the basketball court. The ball ends up rolling to the to the gym. He grabs the ball and he was like, "Better back in my day, fit fellas, I used to be able to kill it." And he started doing the NBA lot. Triple's like, "You be like, oh, that got that. that's what it's like." But <laughs> but on if you came to basketball practice, you'd be like, "Man, get your ass out of here, man." How does NBA Live add in Kyrie's real dribble moves? Mm -hmm. Steph Curry's real dribble moves? I mean, 2K has grasped the whole concept of making dribble packages. Your whole dribble package. Chaining moves together. Right. Where, you know, some of it is animated or arcade -ish, but it still gives you the ability to chain different moves from different dribble packages and different sizes ups and put them all together. You know, like... Because with NBA Live, all you really got is a crossover, a crossover through the leg, and a crossover behind it, the back. It's just kind of boring, to you know, be honest with you, man. You that, that's why I was like, when I saw the, when I seen the NBA Live now, and I see the between the leg move, and I'm like, is that it? Like, that's all we got? Because it, it, if we don't have, you know We need Jay, fluidity. Like, I need to be able to take the ball at my left hand, crossover, throw it behind my back, do a momentum between my, that's what between my leg, behind You see my what back. I'm saying? Spin like, move. I would really just be like, I would really like, man, what you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, give me that. Sit your ass down somewhere, man. Let me show you. Let me show you a little something. You only got one pair of glasses, so you better respect me.
Taste gone, ain't it, huh? One more time. You know what? What up? I ain't even gonna cry. <laughs> you gonna stop hitting me in front of mom, all right? Now, if I tell on you, then what you gonna tell. do? Tell. 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 What's up? Team y'all, Freddy Wap left side, can't see y'all, can't be y'all. Nigga, my whole squad ready to ride, riding round, but be ready to die. I don't gotta decide whether or not you approve of this. You ain't gotta make room for this. I bermuda shit, bring it down. Can you hear me now? You couldn't relate. I bet they all feel me now in the room.